What we got is a Gamakatsu 11-0 heavy duty live bait circle. Because this rig in particular has got 250 pound fluorocarbon which is crimped. And then we use a magic marker to black it out. The fish have very good eyesight so we like to keep every part of the silver black. Anything that shines or has reflection they will refuse. That's crimped to 20 feet of fluorocarbon. Our leader is then spliced in to double Dacron. This is our end serving. Now this right here, this is wax line? That's all 35 pound wax line. And you, you colored that or it comes black? It comes like that. black. Gotcha. We could do another serving here at the top to a loop. Now this loop is spliced through four times through itself. We loop to loop it here to another piece of double Dacron, about two feet long. Which is spliced to a spro swivel, 240 pound spro swivel. Now on the rod side, we use 180 pound spectra, doubled through itself, also spliced at the eye. We run our mono six feet through that. And we do a long serving at the end. When I do the serving, I like to double the wax line so I have two ends. We start in the middle, I take this side and go up the leader. And I do the other side and go down the leader. And then here's our running line, our top shot. Which is generally how long on the top shot, Andy? 100 to 200 feet. 100 to 200 feet. Is this floral carbon? This is all amylon. Amylon, so this is your amylon part. God, when you look at this rig, it's, it's a little... It's a little scary looking. I mean, I, that swivel on, is so small. It's and so that, strong. It's so, I know, I know. It's, I know it's strong. It's just it's crazy that you can actually put that kind of pressure at that, that swivel part. That, that worries me. But Okay. Now we join our Dacron. Our Dacron is spliced in. <clears throat> our mono into our Dacron 12 feet. And at the end, we serve it the same way. What I like to do, where my Dacron ends and my mono starts, I take an overhand knot, which you see right here. I start my wax line there so that it can go both ways as well, so that it's pulling from two different directions. And then fill the rest of the reel with Dacron, and that's it. The, um, in, in filling your reel with Dacron, you talk about you know, there's obviously a lot of different ways, a right way and a wrong way to fill a reel. Do you bridge your reel or do you X your line? How, when you actually go to put that on there? How, well, we do. When I fill the reel, I put it on by hand. I have someone hold the spool. We do it all by hand. That way we can check the consistency. If there's any frays or anything in it from the factory, we can cut and re-splice it. Um, and then once the reel's full, when we come out to the fishing grounds or before we get to the fishing grounds, I'll let half of that spool out wind it on again so that it gets on there tighter. So it's tight. 